I was born in Insane. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the part of uh, satellite Rangoon. We can see the Rangoon division also uh, in 1948. And then my father uh, is from a religious background, and my mother as a school teacher. I've got eight brothers and sister. Mm. I'm the youngest one. <laughs> I studied in insane uh, middle school and then later on I attend the high school in Kushan. We call it, it is in Rangoon also. Uh, and then later mm. I attend the university in Rangoon. I graduated in 1970 and then trying to continue my study with master but I didn't finish it. Mm. So and I was working in the government for I mean, apprentice, we can say that, two years after that. I don't like to serve in the government because I feel that there is some or discrimination inside the government uh, through to a race or ethnic city, we can say that. So I didn't work inside the government anymore. And later in 1975, I have a good contact with my organization here, the KNU. Because most of my friends at that time they left Rangoon to join the revolution. So in 1975, I'll be coming to the border area, trying to attend some of the underground, I mean, training program, and then going back. In 1979, I left Rangoon. And mostly, you know, mm -hmm. I devoted then the revolution started from then. So we can see that it's all, almost 20 years, mm. or more than 20 years. If we started back from 1975, you know, when I arrived at the border area, at that time I uh, feel that, you know, some of our troops, you know, they got a lot of opportunity you know, to control the areas and uh, we got a lot of support from the people also. Mm -hmm. uh, from one hand, when you look at the economy at that time, there's a black market, we can see that uh, the BSPP, Burmese uh, Way to Socialist Program Party, closed the country and then most of the uh, consumer goods, they are coming from Thailand. So the KNU can get a lot of tax from that. So I think that there's a good opportunity for the KNU to build up the military uh, or, I mean, have a lot of leverage, you know, mm -hmm. because they got the support from the people also, because people don't like the, the government, we can see. Uh, unfortunately, the KNU cannot control the city, but most of the remote area or the villages are under control by the KNU. Mm -hmm. My first, uh, we can say, assignment mm -hmm. that I got it from the 7th Brigade, we call it Pa'an District also, because inside the KNU there are uh, 7 brigades and 7 uh, district. So my brigade is seven, number seven, mm -hmm. as well as Pan. In Pan district, when I first arrived at the border area, I mean that at the KNU, you know, they, they have their district head office there. Mm -hmm. so I'm walking inside the office, but at the time, <coughs> um, they attached me to do with some. Uh, financial work because uh, my experience inside, you know, I've been working with the bank for two years, only a few months, and then we have to attend the military training. Mm. So after the military training, I was posted again uh, with the uh, defense at the 7th Brigade. Maybe uh, I think that I've serving for 
three, four months, and then they asked me to join in the education department again. So uh, working with the education department maybe around about two or more than two years. After this, uh, we were recruited to the headquarters, you know, mm-hmm. uh, as a cadet. Hmm. And then when I returned back from uh, the headquarters, uh, working with the township again, it was around about in 83, 84, I think. And then I was a secretary at the Tumwe township. Mm-hmm. In 88, there's a lot of people coming from inside because there's a big uprising in Rangoon and then the military cracked down the demonstrator. So they were uh, trying to get shelter in the border area. So I uh, have to look after the 88 uh, demonstrator at the border area. So working with them and then they start forming the DAB. So <coughs> in 88 we formed the DAB because the NDF started, you know, the armed group, uh, the armed alliance group started in 1976 and up to 88. So it's a strong ethnic armed uh, coalition group. So they call the name National Democratic Front with many different arms groups. So we can say Exforcible, Kachin, Karenni, Karen, Moon, and other small ethnic bodies mm-hmm. also said that alliance group. 88, there is no I mean, sign of, what shall I say, NLD or on San Suu Kyi, you know, because after the 88, in 89, the <coughs> military who took power in 88 started giving a chance for the people to form the political party. Mm-hmm. And then in 90, they start making the, uh, the election. At that time, there are three current political parties they also run the election, but they didn't got the vote mm-hmm. to become the MPs. But they registered, but uh, they are not what you call elected as the representative. <coughs> the election uh, campaign didn't reach to the border area. Mm-hmm. Only at Pa'an and Limeway, you know, we can see that some of the big city that they can, uh, the military can control. Uh, at the border area, people didn't give vote. Mm-hmm. People cannot contest in the uh, election. So after the election, uh, we can say that in 89, NLD was set up mm-hmm. as a political party. And Aung San Suu Kyi, she became the general secretary to the NLD party. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, she cannot run uh, the, what do you call, election, Mm -hmm. but she's still as a party secretary. In 90, after the election, when the military didn't honor the result, first, the MPs, they start coming to the border area. And then inside the MPs, on San Suu Kyi Kersen, Dr. Singman also included in that group. They, we start forming the NCGUB, Exile Government, in 1992. Uh, this was started that we have contact linked with the NLD. So the NLD member also coming to the border area. NCGUB is a big umbrella organization, uh, consists of DAB, NDF, NLDLE, and the NCGUB at that time. So this is what we have con- good contact with the inside L- NLD and on San Suu Kyi through this. The NCGUB, uh, they trying to lobby the international and trying to get the support from the different, I mean, countries or the government to give what we call support for for the democratic changes and then to give pressure to the military regime. So they start lobbying and the international and then in 
1993, Dr. Singh Nguyen and his colleague, when they were lobbying in Europe, they didn't have a chance to coming back to Thailand. Mm. So they were stuck in foreign country, we can see, mm -hmm. and then they're trying to do some international lobby work there. After this, you know, there's a lot of changes. So the NCGUB changed its position a little inside the NCUB. They, and then at the, at the same time, there's a lot of members of parliament coming to the border area who are not inside the uh, cabinet or we can say the NCG. So they formed the MP unions mm -hmm. and then they replaced this MP union in, in that in the alliance. So they withdraw the NCG, UB from NCUB, and then instead of NCG, they put it the MPs because it, uh, we can say that, cover a lot of MPs, you know. Mm -hmm. If you say NCG, only the the government ex exile will be the members there. Right. If you put the MPUs, all the MPs, uh, they, they are inside the coalition. Mm. So this is what the changes, and then we are now going with the NCUB. You know, you? many different head. Mm. Uh, my original is from, or my mother organization is from the KNU, and also the KNU is a member of the NDF. Mm -hmm. So I'm inside the NDF, and then NDF. I see. I mean main core group for the NCUB mm -hmm. and also inside the NCUB. <laughs> I'm working with the uh, Kenny Foreign Affairs and with the NDF also at the Foreign Affairs. With the NCUB, um, the secretary, one of the secretary, there are eight secretary members at the NCUB. Um, I'm one of the members there and also working with the NCUB Foreign Affairs. Uh, you have to explain a little about the NCUB. There are different affairs. Mm -hmm. We can say that Foreign Affairs Committee, Political Defense Committee, um, Information, Federal. So there are different affairs. Uh, so I was posted inside the uh, Foreign Affairs. That's why most of my time in Bangkok, <laughs> trying to lobby the different government agency, NGOs, to get the, what's I say, awareness and support from them. Mm 